All right, welcome back. So here we are once again. I've had this issue before. Uh, this is the second time I've had this issue. So that airbag warning light will keep blinking until the end of time unless you reset it. So generally that comes from interrupting the electrical signals to the airbag system one way or another. And I'll uh, go into that real quick. Okay, so generally that airbag warning light is gonna come off because you've interrupted the electrical circuit to something in the airbag system. Either you took the steering wheel off or um, most commonly what I would assume would be you installed a new head unit. That's what happened to me the first time I did this. When you take this component, this whole uh, panel off and change it out, if you're gonna put a double DIN in or you know whatever you're doing up here, some people put iPads or whatever. Well, all these electrical connections in here for your air conditioning system, heat and all that, your hazards, this right here is an airbag warning light for the passenger seat. If someone's sitting on there, there's a sensor. So if you disconnect that, that disrupts the circuit and then that light will not go out. Well, that's not why mine's going off this time. Mine is going off because I actually removed the seats out of the truck. So I just, I know it doesn't really look like it, but I did detail the truck about a week ago and I haven't messed with this yet. But I took all the seats out and I scrubbed the carpet and I took this seat in to get reupholstered because I had some tears right here. So this is all new upholstery here and here. And uh, the shop that did that for me here, local in Oklahoma City, did a great job. But what they didn't do is when they put the, uh, the switch here to raise and lower the seat and all that, they put it on upside down. So up is down, down is up, you know forward is reverse blase blase so i've got to remove that and flop it around i could take it back to them but uh in all fairness i just took them the seat they didn't remove the seat i took it to them so they couldn't really op check it so i don't think it's their fault so i'm not going to hold them responsible for that but they did a great job reupholstering this and it was only 250 bucks so but when i took the seats out it hit that airbag warning light so we'll uh we'll go into that how to reset that okay so we're going to do this real quick in real time how do we set this light? So we're going to turn our key to the on position, wait for that airbag light to come on, and it's going to start blinking. As soon as it goes off, you cut it off. And we're going to do that three times, and that should put it into a diagnostic mode. Here we go. On. As soon as that light comes off, we're going to shut it off. Count to five seconds. Off. One, two, three. Four, five, on. Off. One more time. Three, four, five, and on. Off. Two, three, four, five, and on. And now the flashing of the light should be different. And that'll be a diagnostic mode. So we'll let it go. See how it's going to blink slower now? Oh. Well, it's not going to blink. All right, let's see what happens here. My service engine light's blinking. Oh, that's a different diagnostic. Okay. So now, off. One, two, three, four, five. And now, start it. And all the lights should go out. Airbag light is off. None of the other warning lights have come on. So that diagnostic actually started blinking on the uh, surface engine light. So, But uh, either way, if you reset that thing three times, wait five seconds, and it should put it in a, a diagnostic mode, and then it'll reset your system. So anytime you tap into that airbag wiring via either putting a new radio in or uh, removing your seats, removing your steering wheel, you know, what, what have you, it's going to set that airbag light off. So uh, thanks for watching and good luck.